Welcome to the NatFL channel, where we keep you updated on NFL news every day. The Miami Dolphins likely will have to find themselves a second quarterback in the offseason. There was a second significant NFL trade involving a big-name quarterback this week, and this one might have an indirect impact on the Miami Dolphins. Miami had a great situation last season with veteran Ryan Fitzpatrick and rookie first-round pick Tua Tungavailoa, but it's more than likely the Dolphins will have to find someone to replace Fitzpatrick as he seeks a starting opportunity somewhere else. Fitzpatrick's departure is almost a given based on his numerous statements, including one during Super Bowl week, about his desire to not just be on a roster but play as well as head coach Brian Flores comments after the 2020 regular season that every player would be subject to evaluation. The Dolphins have had two years with Fitzpatrick, so they should know by now what Harvard alum, yes, he went to Harvard, can and can't do. While Fitzpatrick has his detractors, he's actually been a productive quarterback the past three seasons, his surge started with Tampa Bay in 2018 and will get a lot of consideration from those teams seeking a bridge quarterback. One of those teams happens to be the Philadelphia Eagles, who traded 2016 second overall pick Carson Wentz to the Colts on Thursday in exchange for a 2021 third-round pick and a conditional 2022 second-round pick that could become a first-round selection based on Wentz's playing time next season. That's what Fitzpatrick was for the Dolphins in 2020, the bridge quarterback until the Dolphins were ready to make the switch to Tungavailoa. So, barring a pretty significant surprise, Fitzpatrick will be moving on from the Dolphins after two seasons and the Dolphins will need a backup for Tungavailoa because the other quarterbacks currently on the roster are Reed Sinnott and exclusive rights free agent Jake Rudick. While Sports Illustrated senior NFL reporter Albert Breer suggested the Dolphins should evaluate the non-Trevor Lawrence quarterbacks and take one with the third overall selection if they deem him an upgrade, we're thinking the likely scenario is the Dolphins going out and finding a veteran to back up Tungavailoa.